Hey, what's up Chemical Guys family? Today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick and easy way on how to restore your metal trips on your vehicle. Now right here we have this GMC truck and now it's a buddy of ours here at the Detail Garage and one thing is he detailed it, it looks great, but as you know there's always those small details and one of the biggest details actually that makes a big difference whenever you detail them is your metal tips. Now if you have tips like this ones right here on this truck, they look great but they're just not looking as bright as they were once they were new. I'm going to show you guys some quick and easy ways on how to restore that shine. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is clean it up. Now to clean it up, you don't need anything crazy. You can use water and soap, you can use an all-purpose cleaner, or you can use a quick detail spray like Speedwipe. I like to use a quick detail spray just for something just very quick. Just spray on and wipe off as much of the dirt and grime as you can, because a lot of the stuff we are going to have to polish out. So after I spray my Speedwipe, I'm just going to simply spray some onto my towel, wipe it down. And this is going to help pick up any kind of dirt, grime, or any kind of carbon that's loosely on the surface. Alright guys, now that we're done wiping down the exhaust tips, now we can begin polishing. Now, the polisher that we're going to be using today is going to be our heavy metal polish. Now here at Chemical Guys, we carry two different types of metal polishes. We have a light metal polish and a heavy metal polish. Light metal polish meaning it has no abrasive, so it's more for maintenance on your chrome trim. So if you have anything like chrome trim, stainless steel, aluminum, things like that, light metal polish is going to work out great to maintain it because it also has a built-in seat in it that not only restores and shines the surface, but it also protects it and helps it keep it looking great for as long as possible. Now the difference with our heavy metal polish is that it has abrasive. So if you have things like this, which are very tarnished, they're very oxidized, maybe it's a metal surface that hasn't been you know, cleaned up in years, then heavy metal polish is going to be your best bet. And to accompany it with, we're going to be using our ball buster drill attachment. Now this right here connects to a standard drill and it's an attachment. So all you have to do is simply take it off and it should fit any kind of compact or standard size drill. All you have to do is simply slide it in, tighten it up and you're all good to go. So next thing that you want to do is grab some heavy metal polish and then you want to go ahead and coat your ball buster. So what I like to do for this is I like to choose an area that's uh, flat. I grab my heavy metal polish and I like to do about two lines of product onto the ball buster attachment. And then what I also like to do is, uh, I'm wearing gloves for this reason, but I like to work the product into the foam material. That way it doesn't fling all over the place whenever I turn on my drill. And then once you have that nice and spread out, all you want to do is simply stick that in there. And then you want to start polishing the inside of the tips. And then for the outside, we'll be using a microfiber applicator. So we're going to go ahead and finish the inside first, and then we'll be right back to show you guys how to polish the outside. Alright guys, now that we're done polishing one of these, I'm going to grab my microfiber towel and buff off the residue. Already there's a big difference in terms of shine from the right side and the left side that we've polished already. So there's a much more clarity in the metal. You don't have that nasty kind of foggy look to it. It doesn't look brown or black or anything. It looks nice, crisp, and brand new. So now the only thing left to do is to polish the outside. So for that, we're going to be utilizing a microfiber applicator, which I have right here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to apply some heavy metal polish onto the applicator. And just so that we don't drop it and get it all over the place, I'm just going to simply work it into the microfiber applicator itself. And then we're going to simply start working it on the surface of the exhaust tips. All right guys, now that we're done polishing the right side, now it's time to polish the left side. Now before we get into that, one thing I did want to mention is this little bar right here. Now this right here, as you guys saw, I was holding on to it and it was allowing me to be in full control of polishing the exhaust tip. So instead of you just kind of grabbing the drill and then just kind of going all crazy on you, this attachment actually has this little bar that spins so you can have full control in terms of where you're going. And this ball buster attachment is not just for exhaust tips, you can use it on multiple things like wheels as well and anywhere it fits. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to finish up doing the rest of the tips and then I'm going to show you guys how to protect them once you're all done. All 
All right guys, we're finally back and as you guys can see, these tips are polished to perfection. Now one great thing about the heavy metal polish is that it does have that built-in sealant. So not only are you restoring the surface, but you're also shining and protecting it as well. And that protection is gonna be great because it's gonna help maintain the beautiful, lustrous new shine that you just found. Now, what's better than having protection is more protection. And what's better than the sealant? A ceramic coating like HydroCharge Plus. Now, HydroCharge Plus is our newest version of our original HydroCharge ceramic spray coating. We've improved it to be much easier to apply, provide more shine, more protection, and a fraction and amount of the time. Now, HydroCharge Plus is extremely easy to apply. It's a simple, easy to use ceramic spray coating. So all you have to do is spray directly onto a microfiber applicator like so. I'm gonna give it about two sprays set that down and then we're simply going to apply it to our exhaust tips now the great thing about our new hydrocharge plus is that it can be applied to virtually all smooth glossy exterior surfaces including paint glass chrome wheels headlights tail lights and so much more and we're also applying it to the tips so as you guys can see it's very easy to apply all you have to do is make sure that you apply a nice even coat throughout the entire thing you can apply it onto the inside as well now the hydrocharge plus is going to help maintain the lustrous shine but more importantly is it's going to help prevent a lot of contaminants from sticking to the surface which is going to make our life much easier in the future in terms of maintenance so in the future we most likely won't have to do this whole process once again polishing it with a heavy metal polish in the future the next time we wash the truck maybe all we have to do is simply water it down rinse it off and maybe worst case scenario you can spray a quick detail and wipe it off if it does get some contaminants and grime on it but it's going to be much easier to remove than before all right, now that it's been about 15 to 30 seconds that I've been talking and that we've applied the HydroCharge Plus, now we can go ahead and simply wipe it off with a microfiber towel. Now, you can use a finishing towel. In this case, I'm just opting with using a regular microfiber towel, which is gonna be more than enough to easily buff away this layer of HydroCharge Plus and check out the incredible shine that it has. It looked incredible before, now it looks even much better and knowing that we have durable ceramic shine and protection on those exhaust tips. All right guys, and that does it for this quick and easy guide on how to polish your metal tips. As you guys saw, it doesn't take too much effort. I did use a machine polisher, but in your case, if you don't have a drill or anything like that, you can also do this by hand as well. Just gotta put a little bit of elbow grease, but you'll achieve the results that you're looking for. And then to furthermore protect your tips and protect your investment, you can go ahead and coat it with our HydroCharge Plus ceramic spray coating. And that's gonna go ahead and conclude this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, if you guys wanna pick up any of the products we use in today's video, you can find them on our website, chemicalguys.com or at your local detail garage store. As always, my name is Joey. This is Chemical Guys Detail Garage. We'll see you next time.